Hello, hello. I hope you guys can see up there. Um, good afternoon. It is part two of, we're gonna go into the Delphi. I prayed and meditated and asked for guidance. And I don't know if someone who is emotionally attached or something to this case, um, but I got to use the beginner deck. So if someone's learning, they're attached to it somehow. Um, and to do it during this daylight. So we're mixing it up today. Um, so that's what we're going to try. And I also, someone had asked me to do a Troy McCoy with the Chris Watts case. And I did it about a month ago. I just found it. Well, I just kind of forgot that I did it. So, um, that's uploading right now. By the time you see this, it's already up. And that's a much deeper dive. That that was a great tip. Like tip, that was a great suggestion. Um, oh, hi, I'm Kate. Welcome. Thank you for coming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you all so much for bookings and readings and um, aura cleanses, chakra cleanse, past life regressions. It's awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so those were just the housekeeping things that I wanted to check or to say. Today we are going to, all right, so the tip was during the day and use the beginner deck. So that's cool. So um, I want to look at Kelsey German. True Crime Design has so many, she's done a great job with the research. Her birthday is December 28th, so that makes her Capricorn, which also makes her, if we, I don't know what her connection to it is, it seems to be that the family hasn't been cleared yet. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. Um, but I remember hearing something about, it was questionable, something about her alibi or the sweatshirts that the girls were wearing. And true crime design, or yeah, true crime design also found like this kind of mob, I don't know, like an outsider getting accused of a murder from like 1872. So there are a lot of people on here. Shane Evans, I didn't check his birthday. He, um, We'll see what we do with Kelsey and then we'll move on. I'm home alone for a couple of hours. Get a few done. I mean, just kind of see where it takes us. So um, I think that's it. All right. So we just want to check in with Kelsey. Let's just see what her deal is. Um, what's going on with her? Okay. We have the moon in reverse. That's our underlying energy. Um, we have the six of wands in reverse. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. We have the page of wands upright, the two of cups, temperance in reverse, and the empress in reverse. Hmm. All right. Oh boy. Okay, slow down here. All right, let's talk this out. Oh, okay, what we're looking at here is we have the moon in reverse. That's our underlying energy. So the good news about that is that we, um, those are secrets coming out. <laughs> this is the only, well, the good news for us, that's good news. Um, we have the six of wands in reverse. Okay, so this is the moon in reverse. And then here is the oh, nine of wands. This is in reverse. So I'm just going to explain it before I start showing them because I don't really know what this is saying yet. So we have the nine of wands in reverse. This is like well, wands in reverse. They're the fastest moving element. Fire's fast. So... If it's in reverse, it's going to be slow. It's going to be like. Mm. 
oh man, it's, it's like, um, lacking motivation. You're feeling like you're overwhelmed. You're on edge. You can't sleep. We have the three pentacles in reverse. Anytime you have a pentacle in reverse, things are not going well financially. Um, that is disharmony, group conflict, um, working alone, lack of teamwork. Hmm. We have the page of wands. Pages are always our messenger. Wands are always the fire. So they're always fast. So this page of wands, he's a fast little messenger and he's upright. So he's like inspirational. He can also be like, your idea has come to fruition and now you're implementing the plan. So you're not at the manifesting phase. You're, you've passed all that. It's coming to fruition and now you're in, you are implementing the plan. Um, it can be freedom. Then we have the two of cups upright. The two of cups in the Idaho four case represented the party. It's like unific. It could be love. It could be partnership. It's an agreement. Like you are holding your cups. It's also an emotions. It cups are water. So it's like I could be a marriage. I don't know about this girl already. Oh no. Okay. Then we have temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is like. And in, temperance is an angelic card. It's like in both, you know, you have one foot in and one foot out. You have if, of the water. So water is your emotions. It's an angelic card when it's upright. In reverse, it can be like addiction, alcoholism, not being able to see clearly. You're on the roller coaster. It can be like excess and imbalance. Then we have the empress in reverse. This is when you, if you have an empress in reverse, it's like a creative block frustration. It's not as psycho as this queen of swords in reverse, but we have the king of swords in reverse right here. Oh, oh boy. Hmm. We have the empress and the king of swords in reverse. I have no idea what their family life is like. I'm guessing it's not a very happy home. We have the two parental cards in reverse. The woman, like in the female role, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, but it's like selfish and patient. The empress in reverse is like, it's almost lazy. It's like someone who's, you know who I would expect to see is Prince Harry, is an empress in reverse. Someone who's just like, never done anything. This could just be a selfish block time frame that she's going through. Or maybe her mom is, this can also be an infidelity card. Um, there's, so we have two anxiety cards. Where did I see the other anxiety? Oh, so the nine of wands is anxiety. Somebody is not sleeping well. <laughs> then we have the king of swords in reverse. So I'm going to keep talking this out. Um, Well, do we have? Hmm. Okay, we also have two um, manipulation cards on here. Weakness. Then we have this rock in a hard place. This is when the one I always say is like stuck between two decisions. They're both bad decisions, but one of them's worse than the other. Um, so you're weighing your options. The good, well, I don't really know if this is good news or not for us, but we have the overkill card. This is the 10 of swords. It's in reverse. So that means all the swords are falling out. You're healing. Um, it can't get any worse than from here. We have the fool. The fool's upright. So that's our happy little boy. He was running into a party. Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. That um, is an end. That's the end. It should be death. 
Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the world. The wheel of fortune is you're spinning your wheel. So you make it, you have like, you're spinning the wheel of fortune. You're taking a chance on a decision that you're making, which is right before it. So it's a circle. It's a completion. It can be like, I'm not reading it right now as a completion. Um, there's a lot of regret. I don't know who we are picking up, but this is whoever this is, is not doing well. Uh, let's just say that we have the hanged man. The hanged man is like trying to get a new perspective, trying to see things in a different light. <laughs> yeah, I hope they are. I don't know if this is her. All right, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to ask for some clarification on. Let's get some clarification on the Ten of Swords. And she has an alibi. I feel like alibis are just. Um, judgment just jumped out. OK, wait, are we one? Hundred percent. I'm just gonna read this and pretend I don't know anything about her. But I do remember hearing she had an alibi. <sighs> I'm gonna call bullshit on her alibi. Here's the Queen of Swords. We know our Queen of Swords. What did this girl get herself into? It was for money. Okay, so, all right, fine. I don't know. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only, but what I'm looking at right now is I am going to say it's not looking good for anyone I'm just going to keep talking out. Then we have the six of wands in, it was in reverse, but you might recognize this card. This was the one that always needs outside validation. It represented Quinn and Dylan in the last readings or the last case. It's in reverse though. So in reverse, it's everything reversed. So it's like your ego, to, your ego is running the place. Um, you're discredited. You're not... You're not getting the public recognition that you want. Lack of confidence. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh man, this does not. So we have the king and the queen of swords here. Is her mom and the empress? Okay. I have no idea. I have, I don't know about her family. If she was old enough, I would, I don't know. I'm just going to tell you what the females around her and the males from a parental view is the, the mom's like wearing the pants. She can be perceived as bossy. She can be like very much her way or the highway. The queen of swords in general is just a cold card. It's not cuddly and warm and soft, but the empress in reverse it's telling me someone may have stepped out. And I'm guessing it's the dad because he's right here in reverse. So the way that I'm seeing this is like, there was some serious discord at home. So she signed a contract. It's an ace of pentacles. It's also like she might have gotten paid for something. To me, all right, I'm just going to tell you what I see and then I'm going to talk it back. What I see is like our little fool running straight in. It's almost, it's not like a, okay. <laughs> I almost am feeling like Was she, what was she involved in? Like, what's this girl like? 
because it's almost the way I'm kind of, I mean, the hang fan to me has also meant no free will. Like, I'm not saying she's a victim by any means. What the... All right, so I'm gonna ask a more clear. I need a clear question because right now we'll just take this as like the overall energy in her life. Her family life is a complete mess. Her dad might have stepped out, might have gotten caught. So he dumped his girlfriend. She had a tough decision to make. So she was kind of hanging around. Then, so she had a tough decision. She was offered some money. And then she makes the partnership. Okay. So let's ask a clearer question. Um, let's just... Um, what is... All right, Kelsey German. And maybe like this happened in the daytime. That's why they're like the energy. I don't really know what is going on with the energy, but what I want to know. All right, let's ask it this way. Did Kelsey know that, like, did she set the girls up in a trap? Did she know that there was something bad? potentially waiting for them on that bridge or wherever they found I, like there's so many stories there's actually a great documentary this woman did she self-funded it it was phenomenal I'll find the name of it and put it in here so when Kelsey German dropped the girls off for their walk on that unusually warm February day did she know what potential, like, did she know what was going to happen? Why don't we just do upright yes reversals now? When Kelsey German dropped the girls off at the bridge that day, did she know what was waiting for them? We'll just do upright yes reversals now, no, and we'll just do a five card pull. Yes, yes, no, no, yes. I'm going to say that's yes. And, I mean, I can do two out of three. They're the same cards. I'll do two out of three. Let's do that. Give her the benefit of the doubt. All right. When Kelsey German dropped the girls off, did she know what was waiting for them on the other side? Or during that walk? Okay, did Kelsey German set you up on a trap? No, yes, no, yes, 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 she did. That's two out of three. And we have El Diablo. The first, so the answer is yes. She knew about this plan before she dropped the girls off. Okay, so what question do we want to follow that up with? So she knew. When she dropped them off, what the that there was something nefarious waiting for them. Is she one of those poor me victims like the last mother we just dealt with? Card that hold on, I'll explain it in a second. I'm just trying to think of what question to ask. So she knew. Okay, we got that. Kelsey German knew. So she's out of she just became suspect number one. Well, you don't have to go to cop camp. I've said this before. You always start with the closest people and the last person to see him. She's not a suspect in this. I mean, I don't have a degree from cop camp, but it seems suspicious. Oh, man. All right. So... Why would, like, 
Why would she set her sister up? This like almost feels like these older boys were flirting with her or something. I don't know. All right. Was she ever even investigated? I need to do some more research and I'm going to, but this is like the one time I can do this when the whole family's not around. So I just wanted to do it. So oh, another family member, guys, do we have any case after this one? Do we have any cases that don't involve family? I mean, I guess though, it, intimate partner relationships. I mean, it, I guess that's just the way it goes. All right. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is oh, she made a decision. She did. It. I mean, that card just jumped. It's the two of pentacles. The good news is, okay, the moon is our underlying energy. The two of pentacles jumped. So the good news is, is this is all going to come to the light. The moon in reverse is like, I mean, well, it's, to me, it means like secrets coming out. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, <sighs> oh, thank God, the Hierophant's back. We love the Hierophant. And Justice is here. She has a lot of major arcanas here, though, and I'm still like, the yeah, Empress in reverse again. We have the Ten of Wands, the uh, Two of Wands, and the Page of Cups. She just had that. Okay. So, I think. I am looking at right here. Um, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant has been our good guys. In the past, it was the U.S. government who decided to step in because, well, the investigation was a joke in Idaho 4. I mean, you just you can just be a regular human being and realize that was a complete mess. So... The Hierophant stepped in and uh, the Hierophant just came back right next to Justice. If you're up there, that might be confusing. This was our underlying energy. I hope you can see that. And then the Hierophant and Justice, I moved up here um, because it felt right. But we have the Hierophant right next to Justice. So the scales of justice, that's to me saying like the U.S. government might get back involved in that would be unbelievable so i did that chris watts reading a month and a half like right when we started the idaho 4 case so it was october 10th was the day or 20th the day i actually filmed it and in that video i also mentioned that what they're doing to richard allen is criminal and in that video i said the same thing and maybe other people are noticing and it's not just a few of us, but the point is, is like, I'm going to read this the same way that the U S government might step in again. This would be amazing because here's justice. She is going to be exposed for the trash. She's about to get a nickname. I'll tell you that. And it might just be trash. So the U S government perhaps might play another role in another unsolved mystery that didn't need to be unsolved. 
Um, I mean, didn't need to be even a mystery. Like, I don't know. So then we have back to this little trash whore. <laughs> we have, um, she was making a decision. She had no strength. So then we have the lovers. One of the thing, one of the things I think I said out loud was, was she kind of showing off for some older boys or did she have a crush on someone? And then we have the lovers. So we also have the hermit. So she knowingly took her sister and her friend to like the slaughterhouse. The other thing that I got too was moving, people moving. That was another thought I had. I didn't say it out loud. Because um, uh, so I'm not seeing any money. She may have just done this because she had a crush on a boy so far. That's what it looks like so far. We have the hermit. The hermit is a sage. He's like, he's guiding he's carrying a lantern in the dark. He's lighting up. It's like, all you need is one candle to light a million or something. I was just saying about that. He's bringing light to the darkness. Yes. Awesome. <clears throat> then we have the King of Wands. She has some daddy issues. Is her dad a dirtbag? And I... I want to be as polite as possible because I understand he might be a grieving dad. But he also might be the father of. Hmm. We just well worked through a dad like that, actually, now that I'm saying that. Um, then we have this card. Oh, so to me, this card never meant anything except like being held against your will. This is like no free will. And then I heard Famous Fortunes used it in the context of spell casting. This case isn't a maybe. This is, these are the affidavit. It's sealed documents, or they're not sealed anymore. Because Fox 59, if you guys are doing any research on your own, Fox 59 is a great source. They're the ones who sued the county because they wouldn't release the documents. And... They, this is like confirmed, confirmed cult of Odin stuff. Odinites is what they go by. Maroons. So I could brush up because this is real. I mean, I don't know what the Idaho 4 stuff was. I didn't really see anything past the hot cowboy. This is like legitimately real. And his, def Richard Allen's defense attorneys have filed a 130 page document with this information in it. Two of the guards that are guarding him are um, Odinites. How do you take that serious? I should just call them Nazis. I'm going to, because they're for white supremacy. You're not like me, so you're not the same. So that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm, I don't know if that's allowed, but that's what it looks like to me. Then we have the Empress. This is the girlfriend who got caught with her dad. <laughs> and then we have the hard worker. Dylan used to always get this. It's like, mm, poor me. I'm carrying all the weight. My back is heavy. <sighs> okay, so the Midwest. And then we have the page of cups and the page is always messenger cups are your emotions. Do we have more details about the girl's situation? Like I understand what happened after, but this is the second card that I've seen that is like tied up.
The only thing that the saving grace on these, well, first of all, is the government and justice and the hermit upright. In general, he's a, he's really smart. He's a sage. So he brings light to the darkness. He contemplates. He doesn't make quick decisions. He's like a mat. He's just like a sage. He always is seeking the truth. He's like shining. The way I'm looking at this is he's shining light on the lovers. Who's her boyfriend? Like this is saying, look at the lovers, which I got was Kelsey's some boyfriend. I have no idea who it is, or but I feel like he's about to become important because I don't know if like what their relationship is like. Her, well, strength in reverse is like a fire sign. And we've gotten a lot of wands. Three wands right here. Who is Kelsey German's boyfriend? Uh, because I bet you, you know what's going to be, if we start seeing patterns in this behavior, Because our emperor last round was a fire sign. Glad we had that little fire lesson. That was very helpful. <laughs> but I'm guessing her boyfriend, Kelsey German's boyfriend, is a fire sign. I don't know if they're in like an abusive relationship or if she was just smitten with him. So she gave away her power but she gave it away. And I was always reading this before, like Ethan, they overpowered Ethan. Let's do, let's look more into the U S government. So the now I might have to pause you guys again, because now I want to figure out who this girl's boyfriend. I don't care who he is today, but who he was in 2017, when this happened. That's all that really matters. I don't care about her now because she might have just earned the nickname Trash Bucket. But I'm, I'm seeing that she like, she's made choices all the way up till the time they got there. She had the choice to stop, but she just did it because she was insecure. She couldn't say no to this person. And I don't know if he, I'm not seeing like, I mean, well, I'm just going to stick to the hermits asking us to look at this lover. That's why I'm reading this for you guys up there. So see how he is, this is going to be backward. I'm um, showing it to you the way I saw it. So this is our sage. He's the sage. He's lighting up the darkness on regular rider weights. This is black. Oh, I just ordered a new deck of regular ones. And then it was right next to lover. It's like, look, at the lovers. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So the boyfriend, he's next. I also want to look into the U.S. government. Man, besties. Saving the day from all these delinquents. Okay. So we are going to dig more into this boyfriend thing. I might pause you again because I want to look this boyfriend up. Actually, I'm going to pause both of you. Because I just want to look this. Boy. This is what I found. You're not going to believe this. <sighs> She's like the trash mother that we just dealt with. She's like hiding in plain sight. All I did was Google Kelsey German. Oh, and it's Libby. I'm sorry. So to anyone who's done more research on this, it's um, Libby German. And so wait, Libby's birthday was December 27th and her sister's was December 28th. Oh, that's May Day. Wait, March? Oh, I forgot to check the Norse calendar. About to become best friends with that. The date of death was February 13th. And I know there's an OG in here who... I'm going to have to get that calendar. Okay. So the parents are divorced. There's a Timmins somewhere in there. Like her biological mom doesn't live with her dad. So we saw that. We knew that. 
she has an entire front page of Google as the lead advocate to keep her sister's memory alive. That's in quotation marks. Because the next thing, all she has to do is write a book and she could be like the rest of them. It's all about her trying to like keep her sisters. It just really reminds me of Trash Mom. Okay, then I couldn't find the boyfriend. She's sitting on a couch at Purdue University or sponsored or she was at Purdue. I don't know that. Then there's a guy in the background, but in the interview, they don't identify him. And I don't know if he's the same one that five and a half years, man, I guess when I was in high school, no, that's a long time to be in a relationship, but I don't know. So that's, I don't know if anyone can find the boyfriend at that time. Okay. So we have some homework <laughs> or if anyone knows this or where to look the boyfriend of Kelsey German at the time, February 13th, 2017. Um, and her actual birthday. She might be a Capricorn. I mean, I've never had children, but the end of March in the Wiccan calendar is like, well, May Day is later, but that's like the spring. That's fertilizing. That's like when you're so I don't know what kind of, I don't know. We'll have to look at that calendar. To me, based on the cards that we just got and a quick Google search, she's suspect number one. Oh, and, and in the Google search, just the front page, I didn't look further. They connected Richard Allen through DNA. Hmm. Hmm. No wonder the government's getting back involved. Hmm. I find that suspicious. He was like an employee at the CVS. He was like a pharmacy tech or a pharmacist. I don't know what he was, but he worked at this pharmacy downtown. Great. So she, Corey Richens is already on trial. So we can put her in the same category as Corey Richens and the trash mom that it's like hiding in plain sight. And I have no idea how far it goes. All I asked was if she knew that basically her intentions were not pure. She was nefarious uh, when she dropped the girls off. She knew that it wasn't going to be a walk on a sketchy bridge I mean I'm from the middle of New Hampshire I learned how to drive a car in fifth grade like I get the Hickville thing but what I don't really understand well I guess it's time to dig into Kelsey because Kelsey is suspect number one to me right now well, because that's still, um, I mean, I know there are charges for that. If you're just robbing a bank, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, recap. If you are, rob if someone robs a bank and you're the driver, you still get charged. I don't like these families that are doing this. I feel like I need to get sage. Is this is a super dark energy too? It, it's very similar to the Idaho case. It's just really dark. <sighs> I'm gonna light some sage. <sighs> the Knight of Cups just jumped. Man, I don't know why I expected more from her. I don't know why I expect more from anyone's 
After last family? No. It's just disgusting. <laughs> okay, so in my experience studying paganism in general, I don't know everything can have a rogue side. I get that, I get that. Because I also studied like Judaism. I studied it all. The sacrificing. Oh, I have to think of it. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. This is, this is not good. <laughs> I think I have a mystical deck. You guys have been on. You guys have watched me do some investigations, Tarot. I feel like we're going to some really dark places. I'm just going to see what this mystical deck is. It's called the Illumination Oracle. Illuminated Earth Oracle. Wish I had some fairy cards. I know I don't have any fairy cards. For the newbies that are up there, I'm. I just realized that... If I read these Slavic cards, then they're not rookie cards. I'm not feeling like the deck's wrong. I'm just feeling like we're about to go down a really dark road. And I'm also going to light a candle. I have a white one, but it's busy. So I'm going to light a candle. Oh, I'm going to clear the energy. Get some more sage going. Oh. Epiphany. These are beautiful cards. They're oracle. So I don't, and I don't know what it means. So I'm going to aspects of our life. Oh, aspects of our lives may be suddenly revealed to us, illuminating what was there all along, hiding in plain sight. I'm telling you. One of the greatest revelations we can have is to discover the answers to our questions are always within us. Trust your inner wisdom to show you the way. That's a good group thing. I'm going to take it more as trash bucket mom has always been hiding in plain sight. Oh, and my nieces were watching the first one or something of this, and I swore twice, so... I have to be careful. They're young and I don't want to be a bad influence. So, okay. For the rookies or whoever's here that needs these, I'm going to keep using the um, beginner cards. Like I said, I like them. I just feel like we are about to go down a really, really dark place, but maybe not. So if you guys are the prime type, feel free to throw some of those my way. All right, well, the sun's in reverse. Hmm, pretty clear. Oh, maybe that's why they wanted me to do it in the daytime for protection or something. Well, the sun's in reverse. The emperor's in reverse. Our little dead boy's in reverse. And the ace of swords is in reverse. Those four cards just jumped. Okay. Before I go further... What I want to talk out really quickly is this cult of Odin. So if the cult of Odin is like every other national, well, they're not recognized, so whatever, but it's supposedly, well, we'll just, we'll keep it into Indiana. In my experience with like organized clubs, I guess, there's like tiers. So, you know, based on your time and experience, you can you start local and then you can be like a regional representative. Then you can become a state representative and then you can become national because these guys aren't nationally known on the outside. Imagine if we find out that it's the name of something that we've Oh, it's probably hiding in plain sight. So I'm guessing 
there has to be some kind of organized thing to this because unless you're a solitary witch in my experience of like the learning of it, you go to the, you have a coven and you're a part of a, you know, a group. High priestess. I mean, I guess you could go to like national things, but So what this is looking like, well, the sun's in reverse. So we're going into some dark areas. Uh, The emperor's in reverse. Oh, and we just got the hierophant. Uh, Guys, this might be Idaho 4 part two. (laughs) And then we have our little boy. The card that everyone always, I always say is not Rex real. And someone, thank you so much for putting this comment in. I think you're from, or someone's either from Japan. I think you said Japan. And in Japanese culture, swords are always death. So I guess that's just reinforcing like this is not Rex, rest and relaxation. And we have someone from Leeds. Hi, I've been to Leeds Castle. Doesn't this kind of remind you of the inside of a castle with like a little... I don't know. I always thought of that. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so I, um, and then we have the Ace of Swords. Oh man. So the reason I was asking about the organization was because I'm wondering why the emperor is in reverse. Is this an entity or a human? And is our emperor connected to Idaho 4 in some way? Like, was that delinquent and his mother working independently? No, like, you'd have to work. I bet you if we looked at a map, which I said I was going to do last time and I ended up not needing it, I bet these are both on I-80. I-80 goes up higher. So when you're leaving Colorado, you can do 90 or 80. And I bet they're both right along I-80. Just perfect for moving. Party favors and people. I'm going to get these runes really quickly because I just want to see if there's something in it that I'm like, I'm not feeling like these cards aren't right. I'm just feeling like the answer is laying right in front of me and I'm missing it. How cute is this little book? So the F was what was on, that was, this was Idaho 4, this F right here that I opened up to. I saw in that article or in something that they did have symbolism. I'm guessing it's this F. <laughs> okay. I'm like just so excited to bring all this to light, especially if the delinquent's trashy mother is a part of this bigger thing. All right, you guys don't have to wait for me. I can do this later. I'm sure that there is a very experienced runes reader in here. Please, please put anything that you can that can shed some light. So the F just now, what I was just looking at is cattle and wealth. So we're in Indiana, they're farm country. It's actually a beautiful state. I know cattle is part of it. I mean, we had the hot cowboy for three episodes. So that's what it means in the world of our world. I don't know what it meant during the Norse period. I would just say that it's loosely tied. That's almost like saying like Al-Qaeda is part of Muslim. Like, I don't know. This That's a very loose thing. 
and I am not, I am not educated in it at all. I used to have, I just studied it so I could pass some tests. So that being said, we may have an, well, we have an emperor in reverse. I don't know if it's human or an entity. We have a little boy dead on his coffin in reverse. We have the use of swords in reverse. So we're walking into the darkness, which is just got dark. The sun's in reverse. The emperor's in reverse. Our dead little boy, four of swords, is in reverse. And the ace of swords is in reverse. Creating confusion. Yeah, no kidding. If that trash mom is connected to this, oh, maybe that's what Ethan's doing. He's trying to bring justice for all of them. I just called Ethan back too. I was like, I know you're over it, but we're not working on you and I still need some help. Okay, four of pentacles. Some- oh no, oh no. Wait a second. Well, hmm. oh, great. We have our pregnancy cards back. Okay. So, and if you're new up there, um, thank you so much for coming. This might get confusing and I'm sorry. I don't have a structured way that I read. I just pull cards intuitively. And when it feels right, I stop. So if you're a stickler for numbers, that might be annoying. I just wanted to warn you, but thank you for watching from up there. Okay, someone's homework, hopefully, that someone can find this kid's, whoever, it's a, a male energy that was her boyfriend's. Uh, if you can find the birthday and the name, that would be ideal, but if you can't, it's not a big deal. I would just like to know his birthday, because we have a ton of ones still. Oh, boy. Oh. So we have three aces. Okay, so we have the Ace of, wait, I just, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I saw another Ace. I was wrong. So when you're reading for you guys up there that are watching, if you say you had three, so did say we did have three Ace. Oh, it's right here. We did, we do, okay. So this will make a lot more sense now. So we have, I'm just going to move these guys over. Hopefully I'm just going to move this up and this up. So when you are reading and you start noticing like some consistencies, like right now we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So the So ask yourself, which suit is missing? So we have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. That's telling me that the Ace of Wands is missing. That's good to know because I think our boyfriend is a wand. And the reason I think he's a wand is because last reading we had a bunch of wands. This reading we have a few wands. I just think he's the boyfriend is a fire sign. Um, so... I'm going to write that down. So when we do find out who this kid is or what his story is, we know that he's a fire. Oh, and that little whiteboard's about to start getting used. Um, the boyfriend, I think, is a fire sign. I feel like we have a lot of cooks in this kitchen. You know that saying, it's like too many cooks in the kitchen? I'm not really seeing, well, I don't remember how long it took me to see it in the last reading, but, oh, there's a plant. That's for you guys. I hope you can still see with a little decor. Um, I remember seeing it was like a set up like a triangle. So anyway, let's talk this stuff out. We, after we got the Ace of Swords in reverse, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Pentacles in reverse are not a good thing ever. Um, 
there's a lot of cooks here. Like they're all into self, 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 ego, possessive, manipulative, controlling, arrogant, some like a lot of fun to be around. And you know what else I just thought of? Dylan and Bethany got the tat got tattoos. And I remember hearing that the tattoo is the order in which they died. It's unusual. I was about to say all Dylan needs to do is write a book now. But, um, I don't know. There's a lot of poor me suffering, but this is self-inflicted. There's nothing here so far that's like, it just reminds me of like, Trash mom and apparently Corey Richens. Like victims. They're not though. They're like, it's like that boomer mentality of like, poor me. Sorry, boomers. I meant that with the highest level of respect, but I was also raised by boomers. So, mom, if you're watching, I love you. You guys are funny though. I'll tell you that. Boomers are hilarious. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's money. Now we have the nine of pentacles. So nines are almost completion. It's not, com it, the cycle is not done yet. So say there's an awesome girl. I'll have to remember her name. I'll put her in here. She teaches tarot and she teaches the cake making recipe. So like in the first, you know, so you have the ace, you think you're going to make a cake tonight. Anyway, um, I'll write, I should put that in for our course. So we have the nine of pentacles. That's good. That's good. That's, and then we have the queen of pentacles, which is starting to tell me a little story about the funding of whatever we're looking at. The queen of pentacles. That's like, she's a good, she's a nice queen. She has feelings. She's very grounded. She's very level headed. She queen Elizabeth reminds me, I don't know what queen Elizabeth's birthday was. I probably should. She was a queen for a hundred years, whatever. She reminds me of a queen of pentacles. She's very much like grounded. You always know what to expect from her. She doesn't fly off the handle. And then we have death. And death doesn't mean anything but a change, except it does say death right on the card because we are dealing with death. I'm also not getting any murder cards. I wonder if this is telling us the story of how, it, how she put herself in this position. Because the card we got last time was the two of uh, pentacles. That's a duality card. Up until the time those girls got out of the car, she could have made a different choice. Ooh. I'm hoping my homeboy's coming back. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Knights. We know what knights do. Knights fight. But the Knight of Pentacles is slow. He doesn't fight that. Like, he's, a hard, he's stable. Pentacles are stability. That's your home, your job, your schedule, your routine, anything tangible. You know, the earth signs in your life. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, wait a second. We have six Pentacles here, and we have 12 cards. Probably more if you're counting up there. Um, then we have the pregnant. I mean, it doesn't always have to be pregnancy, but it's the Ace of Cups. This meant pregnancy the last time. Proposal. Did she get engaged right after this happened? Or married? Yes. I mean, everyone. Kids from my hometown got married and now they have kids graduating college. <laughs> I was not on that road. <laughs> Um, then we have the three of wands. That's like a travel. I mean, it's, it could be leaving. I don't know, but this is suspect number one. And there is nothing really on here so far. That's giving me any reason to believe that she's not suspect number one. Then we have the queen of cups in reverse. She's a train wreck. She's like codependent. It's codependent. No more is actually a good book, but 
she's codependent, she's insecure, she's needy. Oh, gross. So I don't know who that's representing. Um, it's in reverse. Is there addiction in her family? I wonder if her real mom is an addict or, or an alcoholic of some kind, because we also got temperance. You guys, so we have a lot of homework to do. And you guys are very, very helpful. Thank you so much. And thank you again for all the readings. This is like just awesome. I'm very excited. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Oh, wait, how many Knights do we have? We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> this girl is just like... Ugh. I don't know if she's smart. I think someone gave her a promise of like money. This is also telling, I mean, this might be a far reach, but it's not because the trafficking, there's a lot of traffic. Well, on I-88, I mean, you can go all the way across the country on 80. And I could be way off on the highways. I have no idea. But, um, like, so what we also have is, like, not much movement. I mean, we do have wands. We only have one wand upright, so... Pentacles don't, they're not fast moving. Like if you're doing a reading and you have to do it by time and you're using the deck, that's like a year. Ones are like days in comparison. So this is a lot of stagnant. Probably like the investigation is just like, you're about to go into a really dark spot. We're going to put the sun out for you. I mean, maybe this emperor is the mayor like he I don't think he's very bright and I've already said that there wasn't any smart cards on here but after our last rodeo I'm not going to count the emperor as an entity anymore I guess that the hierophant is giving the whole U.S. government credit I don't know and then we have like restless stress reckless arrogant clouded judgment brutality Lack of long-term goals, greedy, overstressed, burnt out. Does that sound like someone you'd want to hang out with? And then we have three pentacles, four pentacles in a row. That's stability. Maybe we have a pregnancy. Back to lack of direction. Trying to get out of town is, I don't know. And then we have the cups. That's like codependent, really needy. Ugh. And then we have a Knight of Cups upright, and he's just like, he's stable. He's just, I mean, it's, you never want to see a Knight in reverse. Those guys are crazy. But I don't know. This is telling me it's like, poor me, poor me. Feel bad for me. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. Which one of the headlines did say victim sister? Oh, it's like our trash mom. All right. Oh, guys, sorry. All right, so we have 30 minutes. Let's go back to Kelsey, like the day of. Let's get to her, let's do a read on her emotions the day of. Because right now this is just telling me like, we're about to go into a dark place. Poor me, poor me, write a book. And, but you're backed by a financial, she has a, somebody, I have no idea, but I'm guessing it's another female. Hmm, this is starting to sound oddly similar. Maybe I should go rewatch those because then we have a female backing. She was a pentacle, queen of pentacles. She's like, to me, reminds me of um, the queen, like the queen. Then more chaos, perhaps a pregnancy, trying to get out of town. Let's do Kelsey the day of. What's, what was Kelsey's emotional temperature the day that this was happening? All right, what happened the day that this was happening? Oh, 
All right. Well, we asked to her what the energy was the day that this was happening. Oh, great. We're going to have another trash bucket. Come on. She might be our dirty Sanchez. This is sad. Well, I'll tell you what's not true. She didn't just leave those girls at that trail. There aren't any triplets in this case, are there? We just got our three of cups in reverse. Oh, and here's El Diablo. This girl sucks. Okay. So this is the energy the day of. The Empress. Driving Miss Daisy. She's like taking the girls down to the, their deaths. I think, I really do think this is for people moving. I don't know if she knew they were going to die. But I know I know she knew something and I keep getting people moving. Well, anyway, she felt like the Empress. She was in control because she was. She was the only one old enough to drive. They needed a ride. I don't think I'll tell you right now. She did not drop these girls off. Or if she did, she got out of the car with them. Good thing we can go back to that investigation and cross reference this. Then we have the world. Ethan showed us that all the time. That's an ending. It's done. Over. It's also in the past represented to me in that last case, the fool's journey. So you start out as the fool, go around the world, and then your journey's done. Get to redo it again. Well, it's, the world's an ending. So the Empress, she's driving Miss Daisy. That's what I always say when I have to drive someone around. So the Empress is driving them straight to their end. The world is a completion. It's an end. Done. It's like a 10. Done. And then we have this fake grief card. I'm not even going to call it a grief card. I'm going to call it, it's eight of cups. So it's like disappointment, abandoned. I don't know. She's disappointed. I would be too. And then we have the page of swords. That's deception. <laughs> this girl has no depth. This is like trash bucket. Then we have, okay, so we have abandonment. Yeah, she has some daddy issues, but she's got a lot more. Then, okay, so we have the Eight of Cups separate, abandonment. Then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. That's like deception, manipulation. She's gotten that every single round that we've done. Then we have strength. That's insecurity. Then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Emotionally blocked, selfish, emotional. Then we have the two of cups. This is distrust, broken promises, disharmony. This girl does not sound like very much fun to be around. This devil for you guys up there was in reverse when it came out. Oh, all of these cards are in reverse except for the first three. Um, the devil in reverse is actually, I mean, if you're, so the devil is like, Anything like an addiction, it's like everyone has a habit that you don't want. Maybe you weigh too much. Maybe you shop too much. I have no idea. And I like I said, could care less. But in reverse, this is like your the, the chains have come on and done. So if you've ever you're not addicted, like you've broken that habit or whatever. Um, this is freedom. We have our party in reverse. This guy. The triplets. Oh, if we had twins or triplets on this, I wonder how many siblings this girl had. So, the, so the, this girl is Kelsey. She's trash bucket. Libby is her little sister, and we love her. Maybe there were some stepkids. I don't know, but they're, I don't know what dad. The only reason I'm asking is because I'm trying to find the patterns of numbers. There's, oh, 
you know, um, you're in my, you have a, okay. One of the ladies in here are people, I, I don't know if you're a girl or boy, but you're really good about picking this stuff up, like numbers. And like one time I thought I was going to throw up and anyway, you're really good at these connections. I'm trying to figure out, um, a common, pa um, pattern or something like, yeah, I guess it's a pattern. Just trash buckets, really what I'm seeing. And too bad trash buckets been taken, but might have trash bucket junior. Then we have the five of wands in reverse. She can't get along with anyone. She's like fighting. The reason I asked if she actually dropped these kids off or the girls is this is the second like fighting card that we've gotten. I don't think she was like fighting for them though. Let's make that very clear. There was no heroic anything. And I don't think that she just left him there. I think, I think she uh, had a lot to do with this entire situation. I, and then we have, well, well finally, here's our on this, this is unhappy home. The other one in the, and I'm sorry, I keep referencing it, but this is oddly, oddly, I wouldn't say oddly. It's like eerily familiar. All these cards, all of this is like very similar. Unhappy home. Then we have the hangman. She's waiting around. So this is what I think happened that day. Just from what I've picked up so far. I think the girl, and unless like, this could be questionable too. I don't know if anyone actually knows if these girls actually wanted to go to that bridge. Like have any of the parents that have been cleared by the police. And if you haven't been cleared by the police and they're holding Richard Allen in jail and treating him like. A, I don't I don't even want to say prisoner because I feel like. We've all done horrible things in the past nation wise, I understand, but what they are doing to him is not right. And I'm saying, so they have a family who hasn't been cleared of one of these girls. It's probably this one. And they're holding Richard Allen with DNA. We've heard that DNA story before. And so what I think happened was, and so if anyone can confirm or don't worry, I'm about to go binge on true crime designs investigation because I'm, I'm also not until I actually see one of these parents that has been cleared. <laughs> like what, if you have a family that hasn't been cleared, why is, and this whole DNA thing we know is, a, is fake. And if you don't, then you don't have to watch any of my stuff. Please watch TikTok or drip drop or true crime design. I'm sure she's done it. I don't know, but there's a lot of things. So, Okay. I'm not convinced that these girls, because I'm not convinced they knew they were going to that bridge that day. This trash bucket knew that something nefarious was waiting for her, for the girls. She has a lot of poor me, but she has gotten the choice card twice in these. And I think that this boyfriend or maybe it was a group of guys or girl. I don't know. There was a group of people waiting for these, these little girls. I think there was a fight and it could have been the girls figuring out what was going on. This is like, Oh, uh, I don't know if any of you guys live speaking of Midwest, they have slaughter factory. Well, on the way, like I know they do. I've driven back and forth from New Hampshire to Colorado, but they're like um, slaughterhouses. Well, in Texas, finally, is that my husband lived there, <laughs> or he grew up there? So you can hear the animals like crying. They're screaming because intuitively they know they're going to the slaughterhouse. That's what I feel like these girls like knew. Like something wasn't right and they were going to the slaughterhouse. That's how I feel about this. There was some kind of fight. I think the girls got tied up because the Eight of Swords was here. And to me, that represents like tied up. The spell thing, 
I can look into that. I mean, if we're working in like different realms, I don't mind doing that, but I'd really like to get my feet grounded on something. And then like, what's the deal? Okay. So I'll look into this too, but there was probably, probably another 911 call took eight hours to make. I don't know. This girl is not good news. I'll tell you that. And I think these little girls fought. I've gotten two fighting cards and I don't think they had a chance. I mean, when you're 14, I think one of them was only a 12 or they're, they're, these are young girls. This is not like, I don't know, but I don't know. I think we have trash bucket junior. Maybe what we should do. All right. So that's the story. That's what I think happened that day. Um, in recap, I'm going to recap this. Oh, we're at 40 minutes. I'm going to recap this. Uh, what I think happened the day on February 13th, 2017. Until further investigation. Um, well, okay. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. I'm going to do a quick recap. That was fun. I really appreciate all of your help, love, support, likes, follows, hit that bell, um, bookings. That's been awesome. If I can leave corporate bell. So get in line because well, once I sell out, then I'm going to have to start a wait list or something, but we'll figure that stuff out as it comes. I mean, so in recap, I think what happened on February 13th, 2017, and 2017, until further information comes out from at least someone who's been cleared by the police. That's all I'm asking. Um, that the Kelsey German is right now suspect number one in my book so far. This is day two of our a tarot investigation. Okay, so number one, Kelsey is suspect number one. Kelsey's parents had some... I'm going to call her Kelsey, and we'll call the girls the girls, because just what your siblings do doesn't mean that it makes you trash like we know, our homie. So Kelsey's family had a lot of... There perhaps is an addiction, maybe alcoholism, something in the home... It was an unhappy home. The dad may have stepped out on the mom and that caused a lot of problems. Um, she has daddy issues. And um, I think what happened that day, again, I don't know if these girls knew that they were going to that bridge. I am i don't see it, but then they got there and it was like going to the slaughter. They knew in their gut that something was very, very wrong. I think that there were people waiting for them there. And they like knew it. And they got like, they fought back. They, I mean, as much as you can. They, I think they were tied up. I don't know what this trash bucket was doing from the time that it, this all happened to the time that the, they were reported missing. I don't know if it was a different parent that was going to pick them up, and that's why. That would be Abby's parents. So Libby's parents, Libby's family has, I'm guessing, not been cleared. I don't know which one it is, but if I had to go out on a limb and make an educated guess, I would say it was Libby's. And... I know there's a rabbit hole you can go down on that and that's okay. I just really want the high level stuff. So anyway, that's that. I think they were tied up. I think whatever happened was against their will. I don't know if any kind of assault. Oh, I didn't actually see any of those cards um, happened. And that's as far as we've gotten on day one, day two, day two. So Richard Allen, 100% innocent, and you cannot tell me anything about DNA. I don't buy it, especially after what they just did to Koberger. Their whole case is about to get thrown out, I'm telling you. In my personal experience, and if you just read 
what the prosecutors and the defense have been starting to release. Um, I, I mean, so that's that. Then Richard Allen, 100% innocent, in my opinion. Delphi has a long history of gang, uh, what is that called? Mob mentality back in 17, I'm sorry, 1875. True Crime Design did the research. They did the same exact thing. There, a woman went missing and they had a mob situation with an outsider. Um, there are, the cult of Odin is very real. They follow, it's not the pagan calendar, it's the Norsk calendar. The number F of the pagan, um, of the runes means cattle and wealth. And that was at Idaho. And I'm, I'm haven't done the research, but I, if I had to guess, I'd say it was at this site, at this crime scene too. Um, is there anything else? I think that was our recap. So with that, I will love you and leave you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys up there for hanging out with me. And I will see you next time.